Good morning, everyone. I am disturbed right now enough to do a vlog, which will eventually go over to my YouTube. Um, Chris and I were sitting on the porch talking, and he brought up this video that was talking about TikTok challenges. And the newest thing out there, okay, first of all, let me say, what? oh, it's been out for a while? Two months. Two months. Let me say, parents, pay attention to what your kids are doing online and what they're ingesting. Um, my kids have TikTok, they have Snapchat, they have Facebook, they have, you know, all that stuff. But you do have to pause and ask questions and see what's going on. Now, my kids usually... If there's something shady, they will come to me about it. Like, I know there's one site. I can't remember the name of it. But Micah had came to me about it. And apparently, it's where you can video chat with random people or whatever. And I told him, I said, you probably should be very, very careful with that. Or maybe even delete it. Because you could get a hold of some pretty scary people. Um, But anyway, what this is about is this Benadryl challenge. Okay, it's one thing to have people on there trying to challenge kids to snort nutmeg or whatever. Um, and that in itself is dumb. Anytime that you overdo anything, whether it's a spice or a medication or whatever, it's dumb. Um, you know, it's not, it's not a good thing. But 12 Benadryl? to get high and saying that the effects of it are similar to LSD. Now, I have a wild past. I've never touched LSD even in my wild past cuz I was always afraid of the harder stuff. But um it's two different sides of the spectrum. I mean, one is an upper, one is a downer. And how in the world are you going to get high? I take two Benadryl because I have allergies occasionally. And I want the only thing I want to do is go to sleep. Like I'm not chasing elephants or um, seeing colors. I, I want to go to sleep. Th that's it. Just leave me alone. Let me go to sleep. So honestly, I don't understand how people are getting high off this stuff. Um, it's just another way for the devil to destroy young people. Is basically what it is. Because if you take twelve Benadryl, I mean they've already had kids in the hospital for this. If you take 12 Benadryl, you are most likely going to go into a coma and die. Okay, so this is serious stuff. Um, pay attention. Um, now, one thing I will have to disagree with is the dude, whoever it was that made this video. Um, first of all, don't call the girl a dummy. Okay, I know what she did was wrong and stupid. Completely agree with that. But something's broken somewhere. Um, try to remember that. When young people act out in that way or do things or just particularly don't care about themselves. There's a reason. There's something they've gone through. There's a reason. It doesn't mean they're a dumb A or they're, you know, an awful person. They're going through something. And... You know, I know for me, all the acting out that I did as a teenager was because I was going through things and I did not know how to process them. But, um, honestly, it does need to be talked about. And, you know, I know I'm being very repetitive, but pay attention because I feel horrible for the parents of these kids who have died from this kind of stuff. Um, what is this world coming to? I mean, this goes far beyond somebody eating a Tide Pod. I mean, it's just... Ugh. I'm disturbed. I'm sickened and disturbed. And just, you, you, you gotta pray for these people. Dear Lord...